Wow, it's been a very crazy past week. This is a very wrong review. Camo 17 has a very nice user interface and the camera is mad. D -d 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 -d. Reading all your reactions or comments to my Techno Camo 17 and Infinix Note 10 Pro video talking about how the cameras are not as good as the marketing makes it seem and for which reason if you want to buy the phone for the camera maybe you should think about something else but generally it's a good phone this one namumu because him carry him money go buy camera he won't cast techno do that so that them go notice i'm dash our money <laughs> the opinions seem to be varied right so you know nothing about gadgets you spitting trash some feel i was a bit harsh and i've sat down i've done a bit of reflecting and I feel, yes, I might have been a bit harsh. But the reason why I was so harsh on the Techno Common 17 Pro is because of the marketing. Even on their own YouTube channel, you see the clearest selfie camera phone, right? And all over the internet, if you search the clearest selfie camera, you're going to get the Techno Common 17 Pro coming up. So I guess I had a lot of expectations, a very high expectation level. Like this is where my expectation level was. And this, or even this, like you can't see it, is what the phone delivered in terms of the selfie camera. This is just barbaric to just come out here and just diminish the hard end build of a brand. Trash. Generally, I didn't say the phone was a bad phone. I said having 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage and a G95 processor. That's really amazing for the price, right? But when it comes to the cameras, because that's what the brand you know kind of um puts out there a lot in front of people during their marketing campaign it's all about the cameras so i was kind of disappointed especially in the selfie camera when i took a video of it and my face was purple now i'm not just the only person other youtubers have recorded with the selfie camera and you can see the video quality is bad okay so this is the video quality you get from the phone with the clearest selfie camera so i apologize for maybe the choice of words i use but i came out of a very strong reaction to the expectations that i was having of the techno come on 17 pro which just wasn't met at all it wasn't even close now i also thought about it and felt that maybe because like i kind of use a lot of you know high-end premium devices i might be used to that kind of quality so today i decided that contrary to what you people said about me not using a lot of phones and not knowing about phones i don't agree to this this person don't know about mobile device i'm going to put all the phones i have together and then i'm going to you know do like a camera comparison just to see if the techno come on 17 pro it's really as bad as I said it was. I started with the iPhone X since it's the oldest of all the phones that I had. Okay, so this is the video quality you get from the selfie camera of the iPhone X. This phone was released like three or four years ago. And so you can see that the background is very overexposed, kind of similar to what you get with the Techno come on 17, but then the skin tones really look good. Like I look like me. So I'm in kind of like a dark environment. So now if I begin to step into the light, I'm not, you know, locking autofocus or anything of the sort. You can still see that the background is very overexposed, but you can see the trees in the background looking all green. And my skin tones look good. Like this is how I really look like. Now I'm going to try and move into the sunshine so that the sun falls on my face okay so that's it right there with the sun on my face and once you expose you know your camera to enough light then you can see the background is clear blue you can see the clouds and that uh, that's a really good job so the iphone x gives you good video quality from the selfie camera if the there's enough light on your face else it tries to brighten your face and then in the process it kind of like overexposes the background so now let's take a look at what we get with the main camera at the back okay so i'm going to try and make it as very very difficult for these phones as possible so like i have a hood on so kind of like 
at you know cast a shadow on my face and most of these phones tend to expose for the face they try to keep the face in focus and highlighted brightened up above the rest of the background so i've moved to a brighter area now i'm coming to move directly into the sunlight and you tell me how the quality of the video is once i move into the sunlight with the hoodie on and with the hoodie off your thoughts let me know in the comments below and then i moved to the poco x3 pro okay so this is the video quality you get from the selfie camera of the poco x3 nfc so you can see like a blue sky you can see the clouds in the background my face is very dark because i'm in a dark area the background is not super over exposed now i'm moving into kind of like a brighter area and immediately you can see it kind of overexposes the background but you can still see the sky it's a blue sky and everything and it's pretty good like you can see clouds and all that and now if i should move into the sunlight let's see the quality of the video i think it's pretty dope right it's pretty cool i look really good i look amazing the skies the clouds everything is just on point my shirt color my hoodie is amazing if i were to cover my face everything is still really 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 much on point and this is just amazing so now let's see what we get from the main camera as well and then i moved to the redmi note 10 pro which a lot of people seem to compare with the techno come on 17 pro okay so this is the video quality you get from the redmi note 10 pros main selfie camera i mean this is the selfie camera there's no other selfie camera and once i begin to move into clearer light you can see the background you can see some blues you can see some white it's a bit of exposed but at least my face is not purple it has this kind of greenish tint but as i move into brighter light you can see this is the quality you get the shirt doesn't look overexposed the background looks okay at least you can see some blues here though it's kind of overexposed so now let's see the kind of quality that we are going to get from the redmi note 10 pro from the main camera and then the ultra wide next okay so this is the video quality you get from the main camera the 108 megapixel lens of the redmi note 10 pro and if you know me you know 108 megapixels means absolutely nothing to me if it doesn't deliver good quality video so how's the background like how's my face how's the exposure if i move into more light unfortunately the sun has kind of set so i can't get that beautiful sunset on my face but this is a generally you know yeah it's not too dark it's not too bright you know it's around 5 30 and then finally i did with the iphone 11 pro max which i believed is the gold standard okay so this is the video quality coming out of the selfie camera of the iphone 11 pro max and even in this dark environment you can see that my face is clearly lit though the background is a bit overexposed so now let's move into like a brighter lit scenario and as we move into the brighter lit scenario my face is still well exposed like skin tones look good like the shirts everything looks true to life kind of and the background is still super overexposed now let us move into the sunlight and once we have enough sunlight on our face um yeah the background still looks terrible but the the picture quality the video quality the stability of the video everything looks really good of course you could actually fix the exposure but for all the others i never did so you see that with time it just adjusts the exposure shows you some clouds so shows you the sky and all that really really cool next let's take a look at the main camera okay so this is the main camera of the iphone 11 pro max which is a 12 megapixel sensor so realize apple doesn't care about this megapixel rubbish here so how is the background how is my face we move into the brighter areas and as we move into the brighter areas i hope the background is well lit my face is well lit i'm looking as good as i'm supposed to and now let's do our final test where we stand with the sun illuminating my handsome face and once my handsome face is illuminated how's the background how's my face how's the stability of the video and all that is it better than the techno come on 70 pro let me know in the comments below now i would like to say i'm really impressed by the kind of loyalty that techno fans and infinix fans have for the brand it's just amazing that people are willing to die for the brand that way like the comments i was just shocked 
I mean, big ups to yourself. I believe then Techno, Infinix and Transition must be doing something good for people to actually rise up to their defense like this. I'm just amazed. Now, I just want to make certain things clear. I was talking about the phone's camera. I was not talking about the brand in general, whether Techno or Infinix being bad brands, no. I was talking about the phone's camera. I wasn't talking about the entire phone being bad. I said they had enough storage, they have enough memory, they have a good processor which can play any game that you throw at it. At that price point, it's really good. It has all the things that people like. 3.5 millimeter earphone jack, stereo speakers, side mounted fingerprint sensor. Those things are really good. It was the cameras I spoke about that I didn't like, I wasn't impressed. And I still stand by my opinion that these cameras are not the best cameras. It's not nowhere close to being the clearest selfie camera in the world. Even in the lineup of techno phones, I don't think it is the clearest selfie camera at all by, by miles, right? So that's just something I want to put out there. And again, I apologize for maybe the words I used, they were a bit harsh, but like I said, it came out of a place of extreme disappointment. I just had super high expectations. I was expecting to see, you know, flagship level video quality but the output didn't match the hype and i still stand by it that the output the kind of video quality you get from the cameras is not it's nowhere close to what other phones deliver so from this video i can see that the redmi note 10 pro's cameras are equally bad but it doesn't make me purple it made me more green but redmi note 10 pro hmm, over exposure yay that's crazy Terrible. Maybe I need to make a reason why people shouldn't buy the Redmi Note 10 Pro because of the cameras. This is a phone that Mr. Who's the Boss said is the second best phone of 2021. Thanks, baby.